Hey guys, welcome to Over the Mooney. My name is Katie and today I am so incredibly excited to be unboxing a new to my channel box that is newer on the Disney subscription box market, but it is one that I have been wanting to try out for a while. Ever since I saw it launched, I was like, yes, I need to try this. And it is the magical, <laughs> magical pick me up box. So what's really fun about this box is that it is all merchandise from Hong Kong Disneyland. So I have never been to the Asian parks. I I would love to go one day. I absolutely would love to be there because they just look insane and so wonderful, but I'm not big on long flights. So I would definitely have to break it up <laughs> and figure it out that way. I think if you are a Disney fan, then you know this to be facts that all of the Asian Disney merchandise is just amazing and so, so much better than ours. <laughs> so any way that I can get my hands on anything from those parks, I'm gonna do it. I'm so excited to try this. And like I said, it is one that I had wanted to try out for a while, but then Jessie over at Miss Cherry's channel, I'll leave a link to the video that I watched down below. She unboxed three different boxes in one video and I, yes, <laughs> totally influenced. I was like, yes, yes, I need to try this now. So I am so, so excited to do this. This is my first box. I'm assuming it's probably gonna be many. <laughs> so yeah, I'm super excited to get into it. If you are new here to my channel, then hello and welcome. I would absolutely love it if you would hit that subscribe button down below to become a part of our little corner of the internet. We talk about Disney, Harry Potter collectibles, and DIY, and I post two times a week here on my channel, so hopefully there is something that you like. Also, if you like this video, if you like this kind of video, or if you just like me, then please feel free to give this video a big thumbs up it is such a quick, free, and easy way to show your favorite content creators here on YouTube how much you appreciate them, and we appreciate that. And you will have to let me know if you have tried this box before, or if you are just a fan of the Asian merchandise in general. I actually was just going back and forth about whether I wanted to start collecting Duffy and Friends. I pretty much wholeheartedly blame wanting to get into this on Zoe Dokus on Instagram, if you guys follow her. She was just in Aulani and she was posting all these pictures of all the super cute merchandise and I'm like, oh my god, I don't need to get involved in this, but also I need to get involved in this. <laughs> so I think I might, if, if I decide to continue with this box, which I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to, I think I might add Gelatoni, Stella Lou, and Olu to my preferences, even though I know that Olu is technically Alani official or Alani exclusive. I think that they still have merchandise for him in the Asian parks. I'm not sure, but regardless. So before I get into this, I did just want to let you guys know about the pricing. So there are two different levels of boxes. There's the mini magical box, which is $49.99, and there is a magical box, which is $69.99. And I'm pretty sure that these ship worldwide. There are some European countries that are excluded right now because I know that there's a lot of shipping stuff going on with Europe. And then there's some other countries that they have on a list right now that are suspended due to COVID. But once all that is resolved, they pretty much ship internationally. And I will say my box came so fast. It came within two weeks from China. I would have gotten it in actual two weeks, but the USPS completely screwed it up. But that's fine. I ended up getting it in like two weeks and like three days. So two and a half weeks, really not bad from China. So anyway, okay, I'm done. I'm done talking. <laughs> this box is so, so cute. I love the simplicity of the design on all of the different icons, things that we just recognize. And of course we have the logo here on the bottom that is kind of an amalgamation of all of these wonderful symbols. Oh, also <laughs> I will say I kept this. It does come in a, pra a plastic sleeve so your box is protected. I don't know if there's like packing tissue or anything in here so that things are a surprise. 
So I'm just gonna kind of reach in. There is packing tissue, okay, cool. Oh my goodness, I'm seeing something sticking out, okay. So <laughs> first thing that I am seeing on top is a beautiful postcard with Princess Jasmine that says soar to new heights. Princess Jasmine is my favorite princess. I love this hollow moment here in the wording, so pretty. And it says, Dear Katie, thank you for your support. I hope you love your first magical pick me up box and the items I've selected for you. Have a magical day, Olivia. So Olivia is the creator and curator of this box. I believe that she does it all on her own and she really did it out of a love for Disney and of the merchandise and being able to bring all of that back to us in the other parts of the world. So I just wanna show you guys what I'm seeing. <laughs> I feel like uh, it's being like, it's like, help me, help me. So let me help you. Oh boy. But I don't want to pull off all of the things. So we're just going to go really carefully. Oh, how cute are you? Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, okay. We have this adorable and beautiful mini plush. Wow. Okay. Look how cute she is. Look at this dress. There's all this embroidered detail on her dress, which is so stunning. This is like such a beautiful material. I don't know quite what this is. I'm not a material person and <laughs> knowing what it is, but it's a beautiful material. She also has mirroring flowers on the back that are just printed on there. And then these cute little shoes. Oh, and we do have a stamp here on the bottom so that we know that it is from Hong Kong. <gasps> oh my god, how cute are you? Oh, and these beautiful flowers on her head. Oh, Minnie, you have never looked better. I love this. This is so stunning. Okay, I'm going to go in and I'm going to pull something else out. All right, so it looks like we have a pin. And I was so confused because it's an aliens pin from Toy Story and I could not quite tell what was happening on this pin. <laughs> and I just reorganized my pin board so I will have to find a home for this one. Oh, I, oh, yes. So we have a Donald and Daisy pin look how cute they are and I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell but their outfits are actually like rubberized elements so that is so cute I love Donald and Daisy so much <laughs> if if John and I were a Disney couple I always say that we would be Donald and Daisy because we just both are very much like those two characters and this is so pretty I love the Asian parks pins it does say Hong Kong Disneyland on the back. It is gold on the back. And of course we have the Disney waff, the Mickey waffling on the back. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love that. So I will have to put that on my newly organized Disney pin board. I did mention in there that I do collect pins, but that I wouldn't necessarily want to see a pin in every single box just because it's not like the biggest collection that I have. That's a good start. We have something else over here. <gasps> oh no, what are you? Oh my God. Are these Pop Mart? I think they are. They are Pop Mart figures. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have a Pop Mart figure and it is a blind box. So we have all sorts of different summer outfit characters to choose from. <gasps> Oh my goodness. So we have Mickey, Minnie, Minnie in purple swimsuit, Pete, Donald, Huey, Scrooge, Pluto, Goofy, Chip, Dale, and then a secret character. And then I'm assuming also Daisy because Daisy is right smack dab on the front there, which I love. I have opened the Villains Pop Mart collector collectibles and then I actually ordered one of the Harry Potter ones off of eBay just because they had a Lupin one and I wanted the Lupin one but I love the quality of these figures they're so cute okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this out because I know that there's a card and I don't want it to be spoiled so they come in this blind bag here so we're gonna just rip the top right off Oh my god, we got, <laughs> we got P 
Pete, which is perfect because I feel like he's like the OG Disney villain. So I'm here for it. But this is hysterical. Oh my God. <laughs> so he has this cute little flower hat on. He has his little floaty and then he's also wearing flippies. What are these? Flip flippers? Flippies? I'm sure that there's a better word for it. His tail is also sticking out back here. That is hysterical. Oh my god. <laughs> I love him. So then yes, we do get a card. This is the pool party series and we have Pete. Oh my god. That is so cute. <laughs> Oh, I love him so much. That's great. I will definitely have to find a place to put him because that just makes my heart happy. We have a silica packet thing here. I'm not gonna eat that because it tells me not to. Oh my God, oh. Okay, so this is our last item in the box and I am so excited because I do not have any of these. I spent a lot of money at round one, which is a Japanese arcade by my house, trying to win one of these in a crane game and I failed miserably. I was getting so mad. It would pick up and then it would drop it, like right when it would get up to the top, I was so angry. But we have, I, I hope I say this right, a Q posket. Oh my god. Oh my god. And it is the evil queen. So when I sent my preferences over, Olivia actually messaged me back and said that they don't, the, the Asian parks don't really revere the villains as much as we do here, but she said that she would do her best to find some villain stuff for me and I am so excited for this. I've never seen one of these like out of the box in person. I've seen them like I've seen pictures of them. I have uh, friends who collect them but I've never seen one in person myself and I'm so so excited to see what this looks like in person and this box is really just pretty in general. Um, I love this frame action going on on the back. Yes. Okay so this is by the band, band, brand, band, pes, band presto. We are going in. Oh boy, she is heavier than I thought she would be. Okay. Oh my. So she comes decapitated. <laughs> that was that was jarring. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, she comes without a head, but we we can we can screw her head right on. So she does come with a stand which is beautifully detailed along the sides. There's like this beautiful flowering along the side. That's so pretty. Let's get her her body parts out here and put her together. So beautiful, oh my God. So you can see her little heels down here, but she has pegs in them so that we can put her on the stand. So then her, her head is a little bit poseable. This is so beautiful, wow. So look at those eyes, first of all. Her nails are so stunning, <laughs> which is such a strange thing to notice. I love the delicate detail with like this rope here. Oh my gosh, I love this figure so much. Oh my goodness, wow, wow. So um, yeah, guys, I'm thinking that we are 100% gonna keep this train going. I will be ordering another box today and also updating my preferences as well to include some of the Duffy and Friends characters. You will get an email when you sign up saying that if you order by, I believe it's the 15th or the 16th, I can't remember exactly what date it is, then you will be included in the shipping cycle for the same month that you're ordering in. But if you order after that, then you're going to be included in the shipping cycle the following month. So what ended up happening was I saw Jesse's video, I ordered at the end of May, and then I missed the cutoff for May's box, so I got my box shipped out at the end of June. So if you start signing up and you get into that rhythm, then you're going to be good to go. But yeah, this is definitely going to be more than a one-time box. I definitely need this every single month, especially once we start getting into the holidays. I think that that's going to be really fun. And also Lunar New Year, because next year is the year of the tiger, which is my 
Lunar New Year sign, so I definitely will need to get some Lunar New Year stuff, so I'll have to put that in my preferences also when I update that. But anyway, I'm so, so in love. So just to recap, we got this beautiful mini plush. We got this beautiful Donald and Daisy pin, which I love. We got this amazing little Pete, <laughs> which just cracks me up. I love him so much. And then of course we got our beautiful Evil Queen Q Posket, which I love. So guys, you're going to have to let me know what was your favorite item that we got in this box. It's a really tough choice if I'm being completely honest. I don't know. I love everything. This was such a great first box. So Olivia, Thank you so much for putting together a wonderful box. I'm so excited to continue on with this company because it's just so different from anything that I get. So I know that there's nothing that I have to really worry about getting doubles for. So yeah, you guys will have to let me know what you thought in the comments down below, please and thank you. And like I said, we will definitely be continuing this box. So look forward to seeing this next month and all of the following months after that. <laughs> but that is everything that I have for you guys for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you have not done so already, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.